Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to import a floor plan from your computer into SketchUp Online. First, we'll start with a new file. I'm going to click Create New from a simple template in feet and inches. And here in the new file, I see Helen in my 3D space, and I'm just about ready to bring in my floor plan. First, uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, sort of make a little space for that floor plan to go. Then once you're ready to import, I'm going to click this uh, sort of opening folder icon, File Operations, and click Insert. Here we can insert from online or on the computer. Uh, since I have my floor plan saved, I'm clicking the computer. And I already have a few listed to choose from. Uh, I'm going to select this first one here and open. Now I want to use this floor plan as an image to trace from, so I'm going to choose to import it as an image. Now that my floor plan image is in SketchUp, it's following my mouse cursor. And it's kind of choppy about it, but it is following it. I'm going to bring my cursor over kind of close to Helen. I'm going to click once, and I'll start moving the mouse away from Helen. And you should see that the floor plan is growing as I move my mouse. I'm going to try to get it about close to the right size. You know, something kind of close. Uh, but once we place the image, we're going to check the measurement. So just sort of get it about as big as you, as you feel here. And then click a second time. That second click will place the floor plan image. It'll stay there. Now you can change your view, check it out. Uh, as I deal with the floor plans, uh, generally I like to see it straight on from a top view. I'm going to click on Views here. And I'll choose this middle button. That'll be our top-down view. And I'll close the Views panel with that arrow button. Okay, from here, now I want to check uh, for size. I want to make sure that my floor plan is the correct size before I start trying to trace the walls. Uh, to do that, I'm going to click on the Tape Measure tool. And I'm going to pick this living room to check. I see that it should be 16 feet by 11 feet. So I'm going to check the uh, long side here to see if it's 16. I'm going to click on the inside of that wall. I'm going to drag the mouse over, uh, being careful to keep on the red line here. I'm not going off diagonal. I'll keep it nice and straight, parallel to the x-axis. That's why it's highlighted red. I'll get to the other side here, and I see as I hover, it's actually just about 14 feet, 13 feet, 10 inches, and 3 sixteenths. Um, so as I click that, I'm, I'm close, uh, but I should change it. I'll make it 16 feet. I'm going to press 1, and already you can see down at the bottom right, that number 1 is there, 6, so 16. And for feet, I'm going to press apostrophe. So for 16 feet, 1, 6, apostrophe, and then enter. As soon as I hit enter, this box shows up. Do you want to resize the model? Yes, I do. I want to resize this image. That's all we have in the model so far. I'm going to click OK. If you caught that very quickly, it just resized that uh, image just a little bit larger. So now... Uh, our floor plan should be the right size, the right scale, uh, to start tracing and making our house. All right, don't forget to save. Call it house project, maybe. And now we're ready to start tracing the walls. Good work. Until next time.